What's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. If you're new here, my name is Courtney Capano and I'm so excited to have you. <laughs> Welcome to this video. As you can see by the title or the thumbnail, this is some wedding registry ideas from someone who was just recently married. It's all very relevant for me and I just went through the whole registry process not too long ago and I know that it can be really stressful and can feel overwhelming selecting gifts, um, but I'm here to help you. So allow me to do that. I really want to start off this video with saying that there are probably so many people in your life that are giving you tips and tricks and advice on what to add to your registry and the best advice I can give right off the bat is that this is about you and your partner so take everyone's advice but don't add things because someone told you to add them even though I'm about to just tell you some things that I think you should add take it with a grain of salt and um, just use your best judgment in creating your registry obviously that all being said I think what's most important is to not add things to your registry that you don't need or that don't feel right to you you want to look at your registry when you're all done and feel really good about everything on there because they're gifts you're asking for from people and it's so wonderful that people want to give give these gifts but you want to feel good about them and the reason I'm saying this is because I think a lot of people fall into the trap of adding too much on their registry things they don't need things that they're gonna regret asking for things that are just gonna end up in a basement for 10 years like or that are gonna go to waste, which we don't need any more waste in this world anyway. Also, should mention that I'm outside. You probably could tell that already. So the lighting might get a little weird. We have a lot of trees in our backyard and the lighting peeks through them and it can get a little crazy, but I'll try to move around to make it a better experience for you watching. You may hear some birds or bees or anything, dogs barking. So apologize in advance, but I took some time to come outside today and film because it just felt right. And I like being outside. All right, let's get into it. And so I've mentioned this in other videos and I do have a wedding playlist that I will link below of all of my other wedding content. Um, again, was married recently, so I've been trying to give advice about that experience and I posted a lot about my own wedding. So if you care, you can take a look below. Um, and I have some other videos planned soon that I'm gonna be posting. So it'll all be in that wedding playlist. For my wedding planning, for everything, I use the Knot app. Um, it's also a website, however you prefer to use you know your planning platform but I loved having everything in one place with the knot app and especially with the registry the knot registry is the best to me I know there are other options out there that I explored I did research and the knot was just the best for what I needed so the knot lets you add this link to the top of your browser like in your favorites bar and whenever you would be on a website or just searching around for gifts for your registry all you would have to do is just be on the gift that you want to add and just tap the link at the top of your favorites bar and it would add it to your registry on the knot and I thought that was awesome it was super easy for guests to use and I know traditionally you could only be registered at like certain websites but with the knot you could be registered anywhere which I personally loved I wasn't limited at all I could find the best prices for things and just a plug to definitely use that and also two other things that I loved about the knot and I think maybe these options are on other websites too but the first feature that I loved is called Traveler's Joy and for us personally we did not want to ask for too many gifts we have lived together for a while we had bought a house before we got married we had a lot of things and I did not want any more things in my home that I didn't need I didn't want junk I'm not a hoarder I don't like having an excessive amount of just stuff in my home and so I really struggled because I know older generations like people in my family people in Jonathan's family definitely wanted us to add a bunch of things to our registry but i'm just reminding you here on this video that you don't need to add a bunch of fine china or silverware or knife sets or whatever that you don't need to your registry if you don't need them it's maybe difficult for again older generations that traditionally like to give physical gifts um to give you these traveler's joy gifts that i'm going to talk about in a minute but it's important to just do what's best for you. So for us, Jonathan and I love traveling. It's extremely important to us. It's important to our relationship. And so with Traveler's Joy, you can add experiences to your registry. And I think that's so cool. So we chose to have a lot of our honeymoon, pretty much everything on our honeymoon was on our Traveler's Joy 
we could add, um, you know, hey, contribute to our airfare to help us hop the pond to get to Greece. We added in our couples massage that we did on our honeymoon, winery tours, Vespa rentals. I'm just thinking off the top of my head of things we did on our honeymoon that we put as an experience on Traveler's Joy within the Knot registry. And people contributed and pretty much paid for our entire honeymoon. And to me, that was so much better than having extra fine china that would just be sitting in our attic for five years. And I'm sorry if that's an unpopular opinion, but I think that experiences are so much better than gifts. Personally, I do have a lot of gifts on here that I'm gonna talk about that I do think you should add also, but if you don't need a ton of things, check out Traveler's Joy um, and you won't regret it. Also, what's really cool that we took advantage of are cash funds on the knot. And other registries probably have cash funds now. I think it's more modern but this cash fund feature is so cool for us. We chose to do a first home fund. Um, and what's cool about this and something that, you know, if you were in our position where you had a house or an apartment or whatever before you were married, you can still put a first home fund on a registry because fun fact, houses cost money the entire time you're living in them. So people can help contribute to the cost of a home when you're starting your life together. And it was so cool. So many people contributed to that. Um, what other funds did we have on there? We had a few other cash funds that allowed people to give us money, yes, but they gave us money in like an intentional way and I thought it was really cool. Um, and again, some people may tell you it's not cool to just have money on your registry, but it's like, it's not cool to ask for things that you don't need. You want people's money to go to waste by gifts you don't need? No. Um, and going towards a first home fund is very helpful, so. Again, my opinion is all I'm offering here. So now to get into actual gifts, because we definitely did still have some gifts on our registry that we loved and we wouldn't trade for the world and we are going to actually use. So I have my notes here like I always do to make sure that I don't forget anything. Um, but our favorite gift was luggage, because again, if you couldn't tell, we love traveling. And Jonathan and I both had never had nice luggage before. And so we put away luggage on our registry. We put um, the carry-on bags, um, the roller, the four-wheel roller carry-on bags, and then one big like size bag that's meant to be checked in. And we just did one big bag, because him and I, when we travel, we can definitely just split that big checked bag. But love the away luggage, love it so much. We got like the, oh gosh, the navy one is our big one. Jonathan has the black carry-on, and I have like the beige carry-on. And they are so slick looking, so sharp. I love them. We use them on our honeymoon in Greece, and they did not do us wrong. They were so easy to transport. And so away luggage, I absolutely recommend. Um, I know oftentimes you probably think you can just go get luggage like wherever, which you can, but having nice luggage really adds to your travel experience. And when's a better time to ask for nice luggage than when you're getting married? So away luggage, highly recommend. You will actually use it. Even just for weekend traveling, the carry on is so good. So Next up is a vacuum, and I know most people put the Dyson on, which, I mean, if you get the Dyson, I'm sure you will not be complaining for years to come, but it is super expensive, and I wasn't really comfortable putting that priced GIF on my resume. Oh my God, why do I keep saying resume on my registry? I know a lot of people put the Dyson on their registry, but it is really expensive, so if you're not comfortable with that, I think a great option, and what we did was the Shark vacuum. It's still portable, it still detaches, a big thing for me was I wanted a portable vacuum to not have to deal with a cord and I also wanted a top piece that detaches to like vacuum the couch or small places in your home little crevices and so the shark has been awesome we have no complaints with the shark it's much less expensive and it looks just as good as the Dyson maybe one day we'll upgrade but I honestly think if you are not super comfy putting an expensive gift on your registry that the shark is a really good option. Next are coffee makers. So if you are coffee drinkers or if you're not, I will also say even if you're not a coffee drinker, you're going to have guests over in your life that drink coffee. I personally feel like everyone should have some sort of coffee machine in their home. but. Sorry if you don't drink coffee and you disagree with me. Some awesome coffee makers um, are obviously the Nespresso. That's what we have. It is the absolute best coffee maker in the world. It's, there. you cannot beat an espresso. You really can't. I mean, an actual espresso maker is probably better, which eventually when we have a bigger home, I want to get that. But an espresso is just the best of the best. I'm sure you know what that is and I'm sure it's on your registry already because 
everyone needs one. But we also asked for and we got a Smeg drip coffee maker. So as much as I love the Nespresso, I am a drip coffee gal. I love the experience of brewing a pot of coffee. And so Smeg as a brand is something that I think everyone should have on their registry. If it's your vibe, um, Smeg essentially, their whole look is very like, 70s diner to me but it's super chic and very modern at the same time and i think it looks so good on your countertop it's kind of like how people like the KitchenAid, which i do too i don't have a kitchen aid but to me smeg just looks so sharp the kardashians all have smeg and i'm super into it so another form of coffee maker is a cold brew coffee maker and we have gone through a few different types of cold brew coffee makers you can definitely get expensive ones we had a kitchen aid one for a while it was awesome stores really nicely in the fridge i liked that one because it looked really sharp in the fridge um, but we had it for so long it eventually like ran its course and broke but we now have one from amazon and it just looks like a pitcher basically and it makes cold brew really well um so this actually would probably fall more under i have a section in here of like lower priced gifts but cold brew maker is definitely um an easy add to your registry i will say that most people that make iced coffee at home just brew it hot somehow and then make it cold but a cold brew maker is such a good investment because it's such a better coffee so add a cold brew maker and it could be something fun for you and your partner to make at home all right, so I guess still talking about drinks this list is in no order I literally just like over the past few months have been like adding things to it and all that good stuff And I did not organize it because that's just me. But anyways, the next item is a bar cart um, I think this is so fun. I love bar carts in a home I think they just give an extra touch. They help you with storage for like your drinkware It's a place to put bottles of wine champagne after your wedding You're gonna get so much champagne so many bottles of wine you need a place to put it So bar carts are awesome. My favorite bar carts are always at West Elm um, My uh, girlfriend actually got me a bar cart her and her husband for our wedding and we absolutely love it It's so beautiful. It's from West, West Elm. It has like marble wood it has like black components to it super industrial and I'm obsessed with it. It looks so lovely Even if you're not a big drinker, which is totally fine I love bar carts for coffee and like an espresso on a bar cart. I've actually considered making our bar cart into like a Coffee cart and maybe having like the bottom part be booze because um, I love a bar cart that has like your coffee maker with your coffee mugs next to it I just think it's really cute when you do that. So bar carts can absolutely be coffee bar carts. So Just some food for that. Okay so another fairly unique idea for your registry that is kind of with the times is some sort of at-home desk. I think a lot of us are working from home now and even as we start to go back into office, I think most people are gonna be working home a few days a week. So um, an at-home desk can be something that you can either purchase if you don't have or upgrade. And by upgrade, I mean get a desk that is a sit to stand. I don't think a lot of people at home invest in sit to stand desks, but I think they're so important you should be standing Standing up while you're home working and so those are great options and also the desks that I know for me with editing YouTube I use like a lap desk for when I'm sitting down watching TV in bed like if I'm editing I use my lap desk I think that's an awesome registry ad so next is a honeymoon photographer and again just in line with the traveler's joy items if you just are not able to think through things that you need think about experiences and I think a honeymoon photographer is so fun even if you and your partner are not super into photos um, you're probably gonna want a cool way to remember your honeymoon and what better than even if it's a one-hour photography sunset session where you just have a few photos to capture you know this incredible experience in vacation right after you're married I haven't really seen this before but I thought it would be a cool idea next up I'm just making myself laugh at how like back and forth this list is but next up is um, a knife set and so I would just suggest not going crazy with a knife set like we ended up putting a knife set on our registry because we did need one and we didn't do a crazy crazy expensive one they could be six seven hundred dollars I think ours was 250 which is still a lot to ask for from people like I it was I was very grateful that my aunt purchased this for me um, but you don't need to go like crazy with them our knives are so good read reviews um, I think that 
some companies just lure you in with their products and you don't need to spend so much money on everything for your registry there are great options out there that are more affordable just like the shark first the dyson your knife set i think a 250 dollars knife set honestly is just as good as a 600 dollars one sorry again probably not a popular opinion but our knives be cutting just fine speaking of cutting um a cutting board i added on here i do think that's a really cool idea because that to me is kind of an experience especially if they are custom like i think putting on your registry like an engraved cutting board with your new last name or the date of your wedding like things like that are fun and then every time people come over and you serve them charcuterie or whatever on your cutting board or charcuterie board um, it's just an experience and reminder of your wedding so I think things like that are really cute it doesn't even have to be a cutting board like bowls or dishes or things that you maybe can put your last name on or a date or something to make an experience or have out as decor in your home um, are really fun to add on your registry and a little bit more meaningful than just a normal cutting board <laughs> Also, a few other things that I put on here are like food experiences in the home. Does that make any sense? Oh, you can hear the wind on the trees. Anyways, food experiences in the home. I don't know. I think they're kind of fun. Um, first is a popcorn maker. We've always had a popcorn maker in our home. I always grew up with a popcorn maker and I think it's super fun. It's fun to make popcorn for people, fresh and it's fun just to have on movie night with your partner or whatever. So I think a popcorn maker is super fun and a fun add to a registry. I also think a fajita maker or like a quesadilla maker is fun. Um, again, these are lower priced options, um, but I think that it's still a fun gift to add and something that you'll actually probably use like it's a friday night like tonight for example it's friday me and jonathan don't want to go out but we're definitely going to try to make something fun at home and i think having the options of like an at-home fajita is really fun make yourself some use your bar cart make yourself a margarita all those things you know so next up is a blender and again there are so many options with blenders. If you're someone that needs the best of the best, I do think the Ninja is probably the best blender based on price. Not that that should be the judge, but reviews, people love the Ninja. It has like a cult following. I have the Nutribullet, it works just fine. I've never had a problem. I've had that one for a few years. We didn't put this on our registry. Um, but blenders are really good, especially if you're trying to like keep healthy in life, make those smoothies, go for it. You can also make hummus. I've made my own hummus in my Nutribullet with chickpeas, lemon, olive oil. I don't know why I just decided to let you know that, but if you wanna make some hummus. Next up is a KitchenAid. So we didn't ask for this, and you probably see KitchenAid recommended all over like websites with registry suggestions. Um, I do think it is an awesome option. I love how they look in your kitchen. I love baking, so I'm actually surprised we don't have one. The biggest reason is that our kitchen is pretty small here, so I wanna wait until we have a bigger home to start getting things that we don't have room for. I do think a KitchenAid is an awesome option. There's different tiers of KitchenAid, so if you're not like a huge baker and you don't wanna spend a ton of money or add something super expensive to your registry, you can get, I think, a lower priced KitchenAid. It still looks nice on the counter. Some other items kind of similar, instant pot, toaster. Um, again, I wrote, make sure you have room. It's not worth it if you don't. I agree with that. If you are in an apartment or a smaller condo or a home like us that is not huge, definitely don't get big things or fall into the trap of thinking you need these big things that you don't have room for because you won't use them and they'll make you miserable. <laughs> So definitely an Instant Pot. We have that and we made room for it because I love the Instant Pot. I love everything about it. Um, so if you're into fast cooking options, I mean, we're gonna eventually have a, fa a family and I think an Instant Pot is the best of the best for that because it's fast food and it's good food. Um, but if it doesn't make sense, don't add it. But I do think for my own experience, the Instant Pot is like, awesome toaster again i put on here the smeg toaster looks really nice on the counter it's a little bougie a little more expensive but it definitely is not necessary you can get a normal toaster at best buy and you'll be just fine or bed bath and beyond i don't know if you can get toasters at best buy also i put on here home accessories so if you see yourself on pinterest being drawn to certain fun home accessories that are more on the pricey side or maybe you wouldn't buy for yourself add those to your registry i see a lot of registries that don't have fun personalized 
home accessories and I think you definitely can add that like the blanket ladder we all want or whatever I've seen on Pinterest is like the cute ladder inside that you can fold your blankets on like add that to your registry if you want it add um, blanket baskets that are woven rattan that are trendy right now that you want um, I think that you can add items like that you don't have to just add appliances you can add like decor to your registry um, and I just don't see a lot of people doing that so I don't know just a plug that you can go ahead and add those cute items also a few other um, options here are kind of outdoorsy but hiking backpacks I think is really fun it lets people give to your experience if you're into hiking or into being outdoors hiking backpacks hiking boots his and hers hiking boots that's another thing too with your registry you can add items that are just for you or just for your partner as long as they kind of go together somehow I would say a don't do is add things that are really specific to just one of you and they don't complement a gift for your partner if that makes sense I don't know I put beach chairs on here like Tommy Bahama beach chairs or whatever brands you like I think that's such a fun gift for people to give to you and we all need beach chairs honestly even if we don't have a beach near us probably not then actually but whatever I put bedding on here I often hear people and I, I looked online um at some other lists of like do's and don'ts just to see honestly i didn't really take anything from any other other websites this is all personal but i wanted to just see like what people are saying not to put on your registry and i saw websites say don't put bedding which i think is ridiculous because bedding can be really expensive and anthropology for example has really good bedding and we certainly put that on our registry so just a suggestion um again or a reminder don't always listen to what it says online you can absolutely put bedding on your registry um and anthropology was my favorite for bedding and sheets and pillows and things like that you can absolutely put on your registry like it's not weird i thought that was surprising to see online again my opinion don't put it on if you don't want and then another section that i have is again smaller items if you don't want everything to be more on the expensive side i'm just reading exactly what i wrote on there <laughs> but yeah so some smaller items you can add on your registry um, if you don't just want big ticket items and so one thing that i put on here is fine jewelry cleaner so you're obviously going to be having some new bling with your wedding bands so a jewelry cleaner is an awesome gift to put on there i do think that you don't need to put on just like bath towels from bed bath and beyond or crate and barrel on your registry if you really need them sure go for it you can just go to home goods and get good quality ones but i do think like monogrammed bath towels are fun to put on there also i put on here doormats i think that anthropology definitely has my favorite doormats but other websites too have cute nice quality doormats that you can put on oh the wind is back i put doormats on here again lower price I put a beach speaker Jonathan had us put a beach speaker on our registry funny enough no one ended up buying this for us so maybe that's helpful for you people might not buy it I don't know but we wanted it <laughs> um, and it's not too expensive I think it was like 50 bucks for a portable beach speaker it was actually just a portable speaker we just wanted it for the beach <laughs> so a portable speaker you can put on it can be fun for like the backyard we do have a speaker that we put out here that's portable so a portable speaker is a good option um, I put on essential oil diffuser they can get really pricey but they also can be less expensive so I think a diffuser is a great option if you're into essential oils um, and then a steamer if you don't have a steamer I've talked about this in other videos too my steamer is my best friend I don't iron anything we don't even have an iron steamers are just so effective quick and definitely a lower price option to add to your registry last I have a section here on things you don't need and I've touched on a lot of this already um, with comments from other things that I've suggested and so the first thing that you don't need or thing that you probably shouldn't do on your registry is have a lot of his and her items i think maybe you're someone that does want a lot of things and your partner doesn't think you need a lot of things for your home or whatever so you start to think of things that maybe you just want that are more tailored to you um, it's kind of a weird experience for guests to buy things just for one person if there are certain things that you really want maybe just find a way to allocate your funds to buy them yourself and not put it on your registry i don't know i just think it's kind of strange when registries have a lot of things for just one of the members of the party if you know what i mean next things you don't need i already talked about this fine china like you don't need that expensive china set especially for your first home like when you're not going to be having formal dinner parties like it's just that's very traditional don't feel the need to 
put your expensive china set on your registry silverware amazon has great silverware that is like stainless steel and whatever good quality that's what we ended up doing we just bought our own silverware we did not put it on our registry it's not exciting to get silverware and you don't need to do it but a lot of people in my life told me to add silverware and i'm glad i didn't next is mugs and barware if you have enough like this i guess is just dependent on your situation but anything that you have that you have enough of do not add it to your registry like if you have a mug set that you like and is doing just fine like you don't need to upgrade if you don't feel a need to um don't just add things again just to add things there are other options um and just don't be wasteful like if you have things that work if it's not broke don't fix it you know next i wrote things that seem nifty but will add to your junk drawer <laughs> example avocado cutter I don't even remember writing that. That's funny. Yeah, so that's so true though. Like things that seem fun, like an avocado cutter, like an egg peeler, like little things like that that are like, oh cool, that might make my life easier. Like it probably won't and it will end up in your junk drawer. Lighting is getting so weird. I keep trying to move. Um, but yeah, so true. You don't need all of these little contraptions that people try to market to you um, from Shark Tank. Like you'll use it once. I never use my avocado cutter again after the one time I used it. Excessive pots and pans. Again, this is just specific to me and a reminder to you that you don't need to buy more than you can fit in your home or that you'll use. I mean, we only have a few pots and pans and we thought about adding more sets, but we were like, we're just two people right now. Like we don't need a lot of certain things. And so I'm just glad that we didn't go above and beyond our means. This is just the time to ask for things that you need and that's it. You don't need to ask for things that you might need down the line. Like just take the time to think through things that will really help you right now and use the traveler's joy and the cash funds to really get you to a place where you feel good about your registry. And then last, sorry, not too exciting, but the last thing on my list is storage supplies. Um, like things you can go buy at the container store. Don't put on your registry because with storage, you probably want to see it for yourself and decide if it's a good fit for you. And on your registry, you're usually doing it like quickly and don't add storage supplies. Everyone I've talked to that has ever added storage supplies on their registry ends up not liking what they got and it didn't work for them. So just a random plug that you don't need to add storage supplies to your registry. And that's a weird one to end on, but I try to just keep these lists organic and not try to overthink them and just be real with my suggestions and advice. And that is my list. I hope it's helpful to you and I hope that you just do what's best for you and your partner when creating your registry because you guys are the ones on the receiving end and you deserve to be smiling and happy about everything that um, the awesome people in your life get for you. So hope this was helpful to you. Again, subscribe if you wanna hang out with me. Check out the wedding playlist down below and check out some new videos coming and videos I've already posted. And it's not just wedding stuff around here. I post lifestyle content, vlogs, all that fun stuff. So I'm so happy to have had you here watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. You can do better, I dare you to be wilder.